All right, we just have a quick video here on updating the arrow background color. Uh, as okay, so here's the original background color, and if we put in our normal X key, then um, let's pull up the actual front page. So here we go. Here's what the little buttons look like right now, the arrows. Uh, so what you can do to change the background color is you put in your hex key, but that doesn't seem to work, right? So then what you want to do instead, so say I want to take this green color over here, I'll just go to the inspector, so I'll right click on it, inspect, and then find that. And then I'll find that green that I'm looking for. And I'll click the, I can click the color. Then I will go over here and toggle until I find this area. And I will just go down it by one. And then this is the number that we want to have. And we want to put that into the slider. So just like this. Oh, I'm not saving it as a preset. Save settings up here. And go over here and press renew and it will be the proper color that we want it. And we can change the hover color as well. The hover color is just a hex key, I think. Hover background color. Oh, no, we can just choose it, so it's too easy. And yeah, that's about all there is to that one. Uh, let's just quickly go through that inspector again, just in case you're lost there. Yeah, there's a hover. Clearly, I didn't change it very much. Uh, so if we want to grab this green, then we'll just go above the green, right click, and then go down to inspect. This is in Chrome. In uh, all the other browsers, they've got something similar to this as well. So then we just click inspect. And if it didn't pull up the right feature there, so as you can see that when I hover over this, this whole area, turns a different color, so that means that that whole area is selected. So then if, I'll, if I go down one, then it's going to narrow it down a little bit. So now we can see that that navigation section is selected that has the, uh, that has the, the color that we're wanting. So we're just going to click that once, and we can just click this. Or another way to do it, which is actually probably better, is to just type in color here. So we'll go to the, we can do this anywhere. So right click over here or whatever. And then pull up this element style, right click color. And then hashtag whatever color you know. I just know white and black are pretty easy. So zero, zero, zero for black. I'm gonna then click this little black icon here and use the toggle feature to just grab whatever color I want. So if I want to grab that color, I can. If I want to grab that color, I can. You can do anything. Grab the background color and so forth. And then if you want, so there's your hex key. That's the key you're needing. And if you want to plug it into the background color of the buttons, then you're going to have to change this. Move this a little bit. Oh change this to this number and yeah, and then we go down here and then that's the number that we take. All right, I hope that helped and I hope you understand that inspector uh, yeah that inspector feature because that's pretty cool on the browsers and helps develop websites a lot faster so get used to using that. All right, hope you have a good one. If you like this video then please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, then sorry about that.